Well, as a deep learning fellow, I work on a specific brain cancer called uh, medulloblastoma. So this is uh, uh, the most common pediatric brain cancer arising uh, from posterior fossa of the brain. Um, so I'm focusing my research on a particular type of ion channel called the potassium channel. So I found this channel is overexpressed in about 14% of the patients. And if we use a genetic way to remove the channel function, I found that uh, the channel is important for driving primary tumor growth as well as uh, brain uh, metastasis. So right now I'm uh, trying to determine uh, some FDA-approved drugs efficacy in uh, combating this brain cancer by blocking the channel. So the traditional measure, a uh, clinical measure to treat this uh, cancer is uh, surgery followed by chemo and radiation, which is pretty effective in terms of prolonged survival rate or, or survival time of patients. But then you can imagine this drastic measure will cause serious side effect um, developmental problem to a developing central nervous system in pediatric patients. So, so it's quite common that a patient gets treated and the tumor mass is obviously uh, shrunken, but then you are left with very serious neuroendocrine deficits or uh, many other side effects. Um, so targeted therapy is in desperate need. This one patient that we started with this uh, channel blocker, um, and their family is actually pretty serious about this new option. They're happy that they're on it because they were, the patient was initially hospitalized in um, Ohio, and they somehow knew that we have this new option for treating recurrent metrobostoma, and the, the whole family moved from Ohio to San Francisco uh, to be uh, treated in UCSF, and we just uh, got the initial uh, PET-CD scan that there's a good response, so everybody's pretty happy. I'm deeply grateful for the Moroni Foundation and all the people who uh, have given in the memory of uh, Mrs. Candice and Ulrich Carton uh, to support young investigators like me uh, for our pursuit of uh, uh, novel uh, cancer research. I think without your generous support, none of my work could have been done as it is today. And uh, I think it is your uh, belief and vision in basic research that made me uh, move forward in terms of uh, finding novel cures for brain cancer patients. So uh, to that, I'm really, really grateful. Thanks so much.